Hi, everybody. Today we're going to go through a little bit of a how to set up the blockchain wallet. Um, this is a very basic wallet, but it uh, has a lot of power for security to keep your money safe, and it doesn't have very many uh, terms and conditions that are going to limit you from what you can do with Bitcoin. So we're actually going to get straight into it. Um, we've picked uh, Blockchain's wallet. And it is one of the most secure ones. And the, you go to blockchain.com. You see it right at the top here, blockchain.com. And right over on the right-hand side, there is a big old button that says, get a free Bitcoin wallet. So we're actually going to click on that. And it's going to come up to the sign up page. So I've made a specific email address specifically for this so we didn't have to show any private information or anything. So this is just an empty wallet that I got set up ahead of time. Now, the email. For you, you can have any email you want. You can have your regular email address, or if you want a specific email address, go over to Gmail or Shaw or Hotmail or wherever you want to get an email address set up to use specifically for coin. You don't need a specific one. You can just use your regular email address. So I've just entered my email address on the side. Now you want to pick a password that is somewhat hard for people to pick out, okay? So I'm just gonna do something really, really basic. You wanna make sure both of your passwords are the same. And if you want to read the terms of service, it goes over all the rules and regs of their site. So um, it's always a good thing to do to make sure that you are in compliance with the service that blockchain offers. So I've already read it myself, so I'm just going to click on I have read. So we got our email, we got our password that we're actually going to write down or keep somewhere safe. Click on continue. Now you see up here in the right hand corner, it says it has created your wallet and it gave you the wallet's address. And gives you a little welcome message. So we're gonna actually click on get started. So now, there you go, you have a wallet. Now a wallet is, an electronic wallet is exactly the same as a wallet you have in your purse or in your pocket, but it's electronic. It's gonna store your Bitcoins, and a Bitcoin is actually just a series of numbers that acts as a key to activate uh, your coins that are registered in the blockchain. I know that sounds really confusing. Don't worry about it too much. Your Bitcoin wallet is where you store your Bitcoin. So it is absolutely safe. Nobody can get into here except for you unless you give somebody their password but there are some security measures built in. So if you see at the top right here, you actually have a send button and you have a request button. Over on the right, you have the amount of Bitcoin you actually have in your wallet. Okay, so if we wanted to send Bitcoin, we would click on send and it asks us what address we want to send it to. Now, if we actually had this set up on our phone, um, we could scan the QR code. It's sort of like a barcode, and it will automatically populate the address and everything. And we're going to show you how to do that in just a couple of minutes. So we're just going to cancel this. And if you want to request some money from somebody, it's actually going to give the requesting wallet's address right here. And this is the address that you're going to want to copy and send to 
um, your friends or put into the sites that you're actually working with, this is where they're gonna send their money to. Now, if you have somebody with a phone, you can actually view the QR code right here and they can scan this with their phone to transfer the Bitcoin into your wallet. Or you can go over here and just copy the uh, wallet ID and just copy and paste it into the application that you're working with. Okay, so we're gonna get out of there. But what we wanna do is we is record this wallet ID. Take a picture of it with your phone, but this is the login that you need to log into your wallet. Now, if you've got a password saving function set up on your computer, definitely use it because there are other security measures to be able to get into your wallet. Okay, but record it for safety's sake. Make sure you don't ever forget your password because if you forget your password and you don't have the security measures set up and you can't get into your wallet, there's no way of recovering your money. So very important, record that number. But the other things we wanna go through is the preferences. We wanna verify our email address. Okay, so it has sent me an email to verify my email address. Here it is right here. So all you want to do is click on, yes, this is my email. It'll come up. It'll tell you it was successfully verified. So now you can go back to your wallet. Now you see that it is verified. Another thing you might want to do is verify your telephone number to your cell phone. So we go over to change and we can add your telephone number in there. And it will actually send you a code on your cell phone for you to enter into the box here to confirm that your uh, that cell phone is actually yours. Okay, and then you just hit save. I'm not going to do that because that's obviously not my number. And then it will come up as verified. Now, if you want to get verification every time something gets deposited into your wallet, you can click on email or SMS. It's giving me a little no sign here for SMS because we do not have our cell phone number set up in the program itself. So as soon as you do that, you'll be able to click on SMS. And anytime money goes in, you'll get notification of it via email or SMS. And then down on security, the wallet recovery phrase. Now, if you ever lose your password or you ever your wallet, your computer gets destroyed or formatted by accident, come over here to wallet recovery phrase in the security settings. And what it's going to do is it's going to print you a recovery sheet. And it's just a recovery sheet with 12 lines on it. And it's going to give you 12 words. That is your secret code to get your wallet back. So if we click on next step, this is the first set of four words. So you got to put in those four words right there onto those slots, onto the piece of paper that you print out. Get the next four words. Print them out on order because all these numbers actually mean something. And then the next four words, write them all down in the appropriate slots. And then final steps. Now it's going to confirm that you actually got that recovery phrase written down. So the tenth word, third word, seventh word, eleventh word. Very important you don't lose this piece of paper because if you ever mess up and you lose your wallet, this is how you're going to get your wallet back. So very good idea to get this set up. Oh, it's not going to let me go through it because I haven't written them down. But what would happen is it would come back up and it would say wallet, um, wallet recovery phrase set. Now you've already set your wallet password, um, your password hint. You can enter it in here. 
Um, your second wallet password, you can enter a second password, so you'll have to enter two passwords to get in for that extra added security. And then this app right here, two-step verification, is actually used through the Google Authenticator app. It's a little bit more difficult to set up, but we're not going to go through that right now. But uh, it's a very good idea to use that to log into your wallet. It just gives you that little bit of added security. All right. So now, let's move on to setting up your app on your um, wire. Because we want to set this up on our iPhone or our Samsung device or our Android device. So I've actually got it set up here and we're just going to go through that just so you have a general understanding. I know there's going to be lots of questions, but if you just take your time and work through it slowly, um, it, uh, it, it's, you can figure it out in, in a very short time. Okay, so what we're going to actually do is we're going to click on show pairing code. And this code that came up is what your iPhone or your Android device is going to read to hook up the app on your phone and, and uh, connect it directly to your blockchain wallet. So I'm actually going to show you my device now. Just give me two seconds to get over there. And here we have the device. This is my this is my iPad actually. That's why it looks a little bit different, but it's the same idea. So here we have down the bottom left the blockchain app that you can get on the uh, Google Play Store. Or you can get on uh, the App Store for iPhone. So I'm going to click on blockchain. And we're going to click on log in. So log into, um, log into your blockchain wallet via your PC or Mac. So you want to go to the wallet login, go to your settings, and click on the pairing code, which I just showed you on the desktop there a couple of seconds ago. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to click on scan pairing code on our device. Yes, we want access to the camera. And we're going to take our phone... and show the screen so it can scan that little barcode we saw. Once I can hold it still. And there we go. Just like that, it's done. Now you are going to be, in a couple of seconds, connected to your Bitcoin wallet that's on the computer. Okay, so now the wallet is paired successfully. Um, we actually got to set up a PIN code, make up a separate PIN code. It's going to be a four-digit number that nobody should ever know um, so that you can log into your app. Okay, so we're just going to click on OK, and we're going to choose a number. And that number I'm going to pick as, well, I'm just going to pick something easy because this account's actually going to get deleted anyways. So one, two, three, four. Oh, it's extremely common. Now we have something coming on, a security measure saying, hey, that's way too common So uh, because it would be easy for somebody to pick up. So we're going to try again. I'm going to go 7845. 7845. Pin saved successfully. There we go. Now we have the blockchain wallet set up on our iPhone. And we can do exactly the same thing. If I, in the top right corner, you see a copy of the QR code there. If we click on that, it'll actually break up the camera for us to go ahead and scan a QR code so we can uh, pay somebody. So that we can scan somebody else's iPhone. We can scan the computer from a site we want to pay Bitcoin to. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to get out of there. 
And then we can click on send in the bottom left hand corner there. And where we can up in the top right, we can click on the QR code to auto populate this form. Or we can cut and paste the address and put it into the to section. And where it says BTC, we can type in exactly how much uh, Bitcoin we want to send somebody. Or on the Can or the CAD, which would be Canadian funds, we can send exact Canadian funds as well. Then all we would have to do is click on continue. And it'll take us to a confirmation page where we can sit there and make sure everything was entered correctly. You want to make sure that Bitcoin address is exact. So just compare it to where you got it from and make sure the numbers all match up. But I have not ever had a problem with the QR code reading improperly. Now if we click on receive, Now this is if somebody wants to pay us, it comes up with a QR code for them to scan. And then that address underneath the QR code, hopefully you can see my mouse, is what uh, they could cut and paste um, if you were doing it on the computer and uh, paste it on their computer for them to send you some money as well. But you can request a specific amount as well and it'll change the QR code to reflect that. And if you wanted to see the transactions you, you've already done, it's always good to keep up on everything. You can uh, press transactions in the bottom middle. It'll give you a, a balance at the top where it says zero BTC, or and it'll give you a, a list of all the different transactions you had. Now, if you ever see it saying pending, sometimes it can take up to five to 10 minutes, up to a few hours for your Bitcoins to actually be sent to a wallet to a, a different service or a different site. So don't be impatient. If you actually got it in your list, um, it will go through that transaction has been recognized. So don't think that your uh, money has disappeared. Sometimes a bit, uh, the blockchain can get very, very slow if there's a ton of transactions going through. So you just gotta be patient and wait, wait your time to uh, have it go through. And that's really it. That's all you had to do. You've got a wallet set up on your, uh, on your computer. You've got the blockchain wallet set up on your phone. And you're set to go. All right. You guys have yourself a great day.